I'm Greg Bell from Otterbein University, professor and technical director. And this is my parasol gun for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? There's a gag in the show, about 30 pages into it, where George comes out with a shotgun, aims it at Martha's head, and says, pow, you're dead. Pulls the trigger, and the script says, from the barrel of the parasol blooms a bright red and yellow Chinese parasol. Um, yeah, my a difficult gag to pull off in a realistic right. setting oh, as our production yeah, yeah. was and with uh, a sh uh, any kind of gun, shotgun, uh, rifle, that is uh, relatively realistic. Here's my solution. So this is, a, this is, can you walk us through the schematic on this or how it all works? Sure. Started with a 12 gauge breech action single shot shotgun. Right. The original shotgun had what's known as a choke barrel. And that means that the barrel started out with the same diameter as the 12 gauge shotgun shell, which is about 3 quarters of an inch, and then tapered down to around 9 sixteenths of an inch. And that's to keep the shot from spreading out too far after it leaves the gun. Good for bird hunting, I guess. I've never done any bird hunting, but that's what they tell me is a choked barrel shotgun is good for. Started out with that and discovered pretty soon that on that there was not enough room in the barrel. So we replaced the barrel with a piece of uh, aluminum tubing, aluminum pipe, three quarter inch, has about a one and one sixteenth inch outside diameter. Bored out the end, the muzzle end, uh, about a foot down to uh, seven eighths inches diameter, and then threaded the uh, breeching. Retract, tapped in some threads on the original breech and just screwed the barrel into the original breech. Now the forend, which is the wooden hand stock underneath the barrel, the breech, the trigger and hammer mechanism and the stock are all original from, from the shotgun. Uh, what's different is the way it fires. Um, to push the parasol out, I use a 12-inch stroke, very small bore pneumatic cylinder, 7 16ths of bore. That's pretty small. To activate the cylinder to make it work, a teeny tiny little valve, which was in turn activated by a pin with a taper on it, that the hammer struck, driving the pin into the, what I call the rod, the breech rod that then push the button, a uh, little activation staff on the on the, the valve, pushed it down and allowed compressed gas, CO2, from this system that was stored in the stock to go through the valve and into the cylinder, which then pushed the parasol out. Then the parasol itself has a series of struts these little white things right here that are simply uh, those nylon zip ties, cable ties, that uh, electricians use a lot. Attached to bamboo ribs, and the bamboo ribs are barbecue skewers, skewers, shish kebab skewers you buy at the grocery store. The uh, bamboo ribs are stitched to, let me turn it over this way, you can see it a little bit better, stitched to a, a couple layers of the same fabric that the parasol is made out of, St hand stitched by the way, <laughs> to provide the folding action, the, the, um, the hinge if you will, and then the uh, cable ties are attached to the bamboo skewers with thread, regular sewing thread wrapped around and secured with super glue. The other end is held between a little sandwich system right here of uh, machine brass discs and a special 3 8 inch uh, bolt and nut that clamps them together and keeps them secure in here. That's all, it's just a clamping type power. It's pulled open by the spring that you see is compressed right now. As the spring pushes, it pulls open the parasol. So, when we're ready to reload it, we <laughs> cock the hammer. That relieves the pressure in the cylinder. Come over here and press in the uh, center of it. <laughs> Until it starts to fold up. Whoops. Until it starts to fold up, gather it up in your hands and push it in. And now you're ready to fire. For, for, this, for this particular exhibit, 
because it's being used and operated so many times, uh, I decided to ask the USITT people to provide compressed air from an external source. On stage, all of the uh, compressed gas is provided by this CO2 paintball system. Uh, it's a regulator and uh, the CO2 cartridge, which is, eh, if I could get it out, it takes a little while to get it out. It's a 12 gram CO2 cartridge that maybe you, as a kid, you had as a BB gun. Uh, but paintballers like them because they're very portable and they can put them in small paintball pistols, if you will, right. to uh, power their systems. But we have a, a regulator uh, on the end of this because uh, each one of these little 12 gram cylinders uh, puts out about 900 PSI, which is way too much for anything else <laughs> of the system. So I have to regulate it down to about 70 to 100 PSI. And that's what this part is right here. Right here. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, when it's all ready to go, just pull the trigger. Now you have to, you have to get into character and say, pow, you're dead, Martha. <laughs> and out pops the uh, nurse. Of course, the entire cast is screaming because they really think it's a, a real shotgun and that George is about to blow Martha's brains out. <laughs> But of course it's a gag and everybody laughs and wipes their brow. Thank you. <laughs>